Last year, during the first edition of this meeting, I had the opportunity to present you the results of our first study talking about choroidal thickness in keratoconus patients. And we found that the choroid of keratoconus patient was thicker in our, uh, in our patient, and this uh, thickening was decreasing with age. And here you have an example. But what is happening inside the choroid of these patients? To answer this question, we decided to perform a study to analyze the vascular density of the choroid in a keratoconus population using swept source OCT and compare it to a healthy population. So we designed a prospective cross-sectional non-interventional study and the inclusion, inclusion criteria were a clinical and topographic dia diagnosis of keratoconus and a good quality of the images. All those patients suffering from any history of ocular trauma, retinal diseases, tumoral pathology, or an axial length longer than 26 millimeters were excluded from the study. So we performed a complete ophthalmological examination and three complementary tests that include a pentagam topography, a, uh, an optical biometry, and a triton swept source OCT. We were able to include 242 eyes, 970 eyes from keratoconus patients, and 145 eyes from healthy controls. At the beginning, we uh, performed at a B scan, an horizontal B scan of the choroid of the retina, and we analyzed uh, the choroidal thickness profiles in, uh, in, in nine different locations. And later, we binarize the choroid. The software we use detects automatically the inner and outer boundaries of the choroid. And then it shows us in white the stromal region and in black the vessels. So we were able to analyze all these parameters. And this uh, table summarizes our results. As you can see, keratoconus patients had a thicker choroid than control patients. Choroidal, stromal, and vascular region had, uh, uh, were increased in keratoconus patients, and also the vascularity index. And all this uh, data was statistically significant. So, as you can see here, choroidal, choroidal area, stromal region, and vascular region were increased in keratoconus patients, but those data decrease with age. Although the stroma of this patient is enlarged, the main cause for this choroidal thickening was the vascular dilation, as you can see here. Binarization techniques have shown a choroidal enlargement during the active phase of Arada disease. This is caused by an inflammatory infiltration of the stroma that produces molecules such as nitric oxide, which will lead to vascular dilation. Latest theories about studies about keratoconus have shown an increase of pro-inflammatory uh, cytokines at epithelium and uh, tear film level. And also, these molecules have been found increased systemically. So, there is an imbalance between pro inflammatory and anti inflammatory molecules, and there is an increase of ex oxidative stress in keratoconus patients. Our study has several limitations. We only perform a single line fovea center scan image, so the rest of the macular area is not analyzed. The keratoconus patients present a very high astigmatism, so perhaps the choroid uh, distortion is due to the, the high astigmatism, but we checked 
the choroidal sickness with and without contact lessons to correct this astigmatism, and it was, uh, all the measure was the same. And we also checked the retinal scan, the retinal uh, thickness, and it was normal in all our patients. And we also include both eyes for the most uh, of the patient for the statistical analysis. analysis. And that's why keratoconus is a rare disease, and it is typical, typically bilateral but asymmetrical. So to conclude, choroidal thickness area is increased, choroidal area is also increased, vascular area and stromal area are increased, as well as uh, vascularity index. And all these parameters dimin diminish with increasing age. Thank you very much. <laughs>